is our locale tonight. It is a holy passage to the cathedral. The road to the cathedral starts here. <sighs> this is going to be a long night. Your mental powers will be truly tested here. Think hard while you challenge these areas. Now what? I can't wait to see what they're cooking up now. There we go. Well, my fucking coins. I made it. That one was pretty easy compared to the clock tower <laughs> and the quadrangle. But trust me, they're gonna make me want to kill myself sooner or later. I'm just gonna it's gonna get to the point where I'm just gonna take a gun and put it in my fucking mouth and I'm gonna pull the trigger. Jesus Christ. Oh, I got a gold on that. I knew you wouldn't die here. Well, that's fun. Oh, look at that evil motherfucker right there. Look at him. Look at this evil motherfucker. I think, I think it's three times as many as anyone else. I killed so many sheep. You're not going to stop, are you? No, I'll... It makes me excited for the hunt. Oh, hey, look, it's Todd. What's up, Todd? How you doing, man? Shit. Who the fuck just dropped something? What the hell is that noise? I swear to God, people in this house are always acting stupid sometimes. All right. This dream again. It looks like I've been saved. No, you haven't. Huh. I was saved thanks to you. I thought I was done for. But I remember how you cheered me on. I see. Well, hide away. Thank goodness. I'm gonna stop bitching about it. After all, I'm a man. You sit around for too long and I'll leave you behind. See you up above. Hey. Here I am, again. Voice. Hey. Do I know you? My head hurts. Oh, hey, look, it's Justin. Justin! Justin, my boy, how are you doing? Oh, thank goodness you're still okay. We've lost a lot of our comrades. Let's talk about techniques. I feel like entrusting you with them. Let's put our heads together to survive. I'll tell you about a technique I just thought up. Allow me to explain the back spider. When you're hanging, you can move around to the back side of blocks. But remember, the controls are reversed. I have no idea why I just watched this one like I didn't know it already. I feel like you deserve to go further than I do. Don't give up now. Uh, hey, I thought up another technique. You can still make it. Allow me to explain. When you push a supporting... It Oops, I didn't mean to skip your dialogue, Justin. I'm sorry about that. I just don't want to look at your fucking technique. Great, you're safe too. Honestly, I think you're the only reason I'm alive right now. <coughs> Jesus. 
confident that I can face anything now. Glad I could help. Don't let your guard down, though. I feel like this is gonna be a long night. Damn right, it's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna fucking pull my hair out. All right. Uh. Oh, there's. A, you're alive, Archie. Too late. Huh? I came here because you talked me into climbing up. So, uh, well, I wanted to say thanks. I see. It's good to see you. In this place, you need to kick people out of your way if you're gonna survive. And yet, you bothered to help me. You're too soft. That soft guy saved your ass. <laughs> Let's talk again up above. There aren't many sheep left. I bet I'm next. I can feel it. Hey, don't give up so easily. If you can't climb, I'll teach you some tricks. I'm tired of this place. But I'm also tired of reality. I'm adopted. So I'm constantly being asked to show the results of being raised by them. I lived my life for someone else. I worked hard to show that I was worthy of living. And even after all that hard work, I still can't hold on to the one woman I love. Money and power, they're obstacles to what I truly want. I don't want true freedom. I just want normal freedom everyone else has. Don't give up. Follow me. Just keep climbing and hope. Hey, if you love her, then don't give up. You? Oh. I remember now. You told me something similar when we were kids. All right, I'll follow you. I'll chase after you the best I can, just like when we were little. We're all gonna make it through this. Oh, hey, Orlando. I've been running like there's no tomorrow, but who knows how long I'll last. Don't give up yet. It's not over. Yeah, I definitely know you. The way you're encouraging me. It's like deja vu all over again. From a long time ago. Man. How long was it? Oh well, I gotta start thinking ahead right now. All right, hey, Mr. Merchant, what do you got for me? Up some coins. Tonight's product is the white cube creates a block in front of you. Give me that cube. Give me this one. <laughs> a smart choice. Damn it! Why did he go away all of a sudden? Where did he go? Hey, it's you. Glad you're safe today too. Damn it! Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. <sighs> All right. To the confessional. Gotta say, I've been doing pretty good so far keeping these motherfuckers alive. If that's what you're little motherfucks. Stop talking and sit down. Oh, man. I can't believe that you got to this level. Never. Hurry up. Yeah, you're right. Well then, we'll begin. This is the eleventh question. What would you do if your significant other fell in love with someone else? <laughs> uh, what would I do? What does that say? Cling to what's mine? Or let her go? Come on, Lisa, you're tearing me apart. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, uh, fuck. What would I do? I don't know. I see, so that's the one. Hmm. Hey, isn't this the seventh floor? If I get past this part, isn't the goal right there? Correct. This level leads directly to the cathedral. The eighth floor, the cathedral, is where you will find an end to this. And freedom. Right. I'm almost there then. I'll escape from this place as fast as I can. <laughs> I'll take you to the next level then. Catherine. Sending answer. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see how many of you desperate motherfuckers cling on to what's yours. Man, it's taking forever to get these results. Come on. You can do it, game. Had to really do some digging for that answer, haven't you? Ah! Nice to know that almost 75% 70, of people who play this game fucking have, have some common sense. The 
following challenge stages will put your tr try bringing down the house. Uh, facing the holes in the wall. Fuck. What do you mean, like the warp blocks or whatever? Commencing like black hole blocks? Are you ready? There we go. That wasn't hard. Nice to see that they're giving me a nice little break from the bullshit that I had to endure for my because of the fucking last two goddamn levels. Some young bastard. Hey, it's you. Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Hey, what happened? Fuck. It's not my fault. What's the matter? I can hear her voice. Why did you leave me? She's the one who left me. <laughs> oh, hey, Todd and Archie are talking. What's up, guys? Yo. You guys are safe. Watching you climb has given me some ideas. It looks like the big one isn't coming yet. You okay? Yeah. The huge monsters really get to you, don't they? In my case, it's my dad. My father was a great man who built a fortune with his own two hands. He was a real man, always surrounded by women. He always told me to be like him, but I was a failure to my dad. Everything I did just pissed him off. I was hit kicked, ignored, and in the end, I was abandoned. I managed to make ends meet and came this far. Seriously? I'm probably still looking for him to acknowledge me, to love me, to forgive me. The passion to reach the top, to be with women. Oh my God, I'm just mimicking my goddamn father. I wanted to be like my dad, for him to recognize me and my existence. You don't say. I... I'm a bit like you. I see. All right. I'll talk to you up above. Keep climbing. I'll meet you later. You got it. Mm. I'm not the only one being tied down by something here. Oh. <sighs> Everyone's insecure, even when you're older and grown up. All right. <sighs> Is this my punishment for betraying my best friend? What? I've considered giving up so many times, but I can't. Uh, hey. I think the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together. You're Vincent, aren't you? You're always a strange man. I figured it out from watching you talk to the other sheep. I wanted to become like you. Me. You always listen to other people's problems. Just like you do now. And eventually, they forget their problems. Change the subject and laugh all their worries away. I was laughing too. Behind you. It was comforting being around you. That's what I just remembered. <laughs> I don't remember anything like that happening. When I first ended up in here, I thought I wouldn't mind dying. 
My life had been an empty 32 years. Figured I'd lived too long. But then I met you again. You encouraged me in the bar. And here, thanks. You've inspired me to keep going. I'll see you again. It's a promise. <laughs> Sorry. I don't have any more techniques to tell you. I don't have the will to go on either. Hey, hey, man. There's a girl I've been seeing for several years. I've never worked up the nerve to bite the bullet and marry her. Well, me too. <laughs> I don't even know where my life's going, and to add marriage on top of that, it just stresses me out. <laughs> Maybe we're alike. I've got a heavy cross to bear. I can't share that burden with the one I love. So, I should split up with her, but I can't. I'm a weakling and a liar. Cross? I don't need freedom. I just want punishment. It's the truth. I'm tired. I can't think of any more techniques. Hang on, I just thought of something. Have you heard this one? Allow me to explain the marching spider. The marching spider, isn't that what I just did? If you're trapped, try pushing out block. Yeah, I just did that. Go fuck yourself. You're just incredible. Seeing you makes me remember something important. The passion I once had when I was just starting my reporting career. Back then, I believed I could save people. Aren't you doing that right now? With your techniques? I don't know. But it looks like I have no choice but to move ahead. Yeah, that's it. It's the truth, right? <laughs> right. Alright. Uh, is Morgan here? There he is. He's all the way over here. Uh, I don't think that it is here yet. You told me that your wife is the one who appears, right? That's right. Sophie. I'm the one who killed her. I was working a case, and the criminal at the center of the case decided to send me a message by killing Sophie. We had a fight that day. The last thing I said to her was, get out. She didn't die instantly, but she didn't make it. I wonder what she was thinking in those last hours she had. Maybe, maybe if I told her that I loved her instead of get out, maybe she would still be alive. Your will to live is much stronger if you know that somebody loves you, isn't it? Don't blame yourself like that. I've said too much. Go. The road is long. The road is long. You must go on, little sheep. Uh, so I talked to everybody here, right? Yes, I did. Still have this block. Do you have anything better for me? <sighs> I thought I turned off notifications. What the fuck? Creates a dark block in front of you. The energy drink. Nah, I don't need it. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something, fro man? Uh, uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please come again. All right. Let's see. Think that's it, right? Everything we have to do here. To the cathedral, not cathedral. To the confessional. I knew you'd come. I'm not surprised anymore. Any sheep who made it this far wouldn't die so easily now. This is the twelfth question. If you had to choose between your best friend and your lover, which would you choose? <laughs> Joke's on you. I don't have any best friends. Fucker. Hmm, I see. So that's your selection. All right, let me say this, so you'll understand. If you're able to pass the next trial, the cathedral awaits you. I must say, you honestly have a chance of making it. I've been set on that since the beginning. More than that, do you remember what I told you before? The path of freedom will be open to those who reach the holy pinnacle. If you make it, what kind of freedom would you want? What do you mean? It's all so clear to me. I finally know what's truly important. I was afraid because a lot was going on. But now I want the freedom to gain what I know matters. That's why I have to get out of here. <laughs> I see. Let's hurry then. There's still more levels on this floor. All right. Let's see 
where other people's alliances fall. We'll never get a perfect 50-50, will we? <sighs> Only two more levels to go. The trial stages continue on. Some locations will allow you to change. Looks like I still have a ways to go. I don't have a choice. Commencing Area 3. Are you ready? There we go. Alright. Jesus Christ. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, I got a silver that time.
We got what? One more level and then and then the boss. Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Yes. She will be yours. Hey, you're safe. Thanks to you. Looks like it's above us. Tell us about the things you've been facing. Letting these things out makes you stronger. Telling us will make you more determined to climb. <sighs> it's my mother. Every night. I ran away from my mother a long time ago. My mother loved me dearly. Not as a son, but as a man. Holy fuck. I was locked in the cellar for years. The only living thing I saw was mother. I found an opening and ran away, naked as a newborn. I've been running since. The thought that all women could be like her, it scares me, it makes me sick. And in the end, I clung to that fear. I started relationships, used women for money and gifts, then dumped them and ran. I did it over and over again. I, I can't live anymore. Damn it, you fool. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I could have protected you. Huh? Do you think I don't know how you feel? You really want to forgive her, don't you? But you can think about that later. For now, just climb and survive. Got that? Promise me. Okay. Hey. Climb and survive, little sheepies. That's why you gotta just accept it. In life, you're your own best friend. Believe in yourself. You can make it. Yeah. 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 We can do it. I really want to forgive her. Huh? I see. Hey. I don't want to steal her from him, but I love her. I can't do anything about it. If that's a crime, then this is my punishment. And I just have to accept it. Are you alright? I'm gonna keep climbing. I'm sorry for talking so much. You go on. Oh, I think I just totally realized something. Something that I never realized before. <laughs> the fuck? So, for those of you who don't know, I'm just spoil it right now. Because fuck it, right? The game doesn't even tell you up front anyways. Let's just wait for Justin to shut his fucking mouth. committed suicide because of me. She wrote in her suicide note that she thanked me. No one blamed me. Being tormented by her here is actually something of a relief. That's... No, really. Seeing you has changed the way I think. While everybody else is busy saving themselves, you've been cheering them on and giving them advice. You made me remember that words can save somebody. If I can get out of here, I'm going to start writing again. This time, I hope I can save someone myself. I see. Sorry, I'm babbling. I want to settle some things with myself. Will this technique be of use to someone? Allow me to explain bracing. If moving the block you want will cause other blocks to fall, at once the other block. I've got another one too. Allow me to explain uprooting. When an unmovable block with that. I'm not going to look away anymore. I'm not going to run away from living. It's the truth. Yeah, I got it. I'll see you later, okay? It's a promise. All right. So, <laughs> what I just realized is that I always knew that that Johnny here, Vincent's friend, he's always had a crush on Catherine and stuff like that. And that's why he's all mopey and sad all the time. He likes Catherine, but Catherine likes Vincent. What I never put together was that the weird text that Catherine's been getting, I thought it was from C. Catherine, the blonde one. I thought it was her just being like, I'm fucking your guy, right? But it's actually from Johnny being a little fucking snitch, trying to trying to make her break up with Vincent so that he can take her. I just completely realized that. I never fucking realized that before. I hear rumors that cheating men are sent here. And I wonder why I'm here. I've never cheated on my wife while she was alive. Maybe it's because I've been woman crazy these days. What? As long as she has at least one thing that reminds me of my wife. Hair. Voice. Anything. I can't resist her. I just can't bear to think that I've completely lost her. 
even though it's already been six years. You see, the criminal still hasn't been caught, and I was tired of looking. I thought I'd be able to die and rest, but you came along. You wouldn't let me die. You're too nice, or strange. Come on, let's go. I want to make use of the life that you've given me. I'll see you again if I can. Yeah, it's a deal. All right. Uh, who else is here? Where's Daniel? There he is. The trials here are just like life. Walking a tightrope, chasing the thinnest sliver of hope. And if you slip up, it's all over. But now, I know why I must live. Hmm? And why is that? I used to live my life for someone else. But now, I'm living for myself. And the one thing I want to do most is to love Anna. Living is quite simple. But we make it complicated. Now that I've come to these realizations, I can climb with everything I've got. I'm not the powerless me, the one that was chained down by other people's expectations. I can forge my own way now. I'll see you again, Vincent. That's it, Daniel. Let's do our best. All right. Got this. Look at this sheep. Creepy ass motherfucker. The fucking merchant's not here. What? Are you telling me the merchant died? <laughs> I bet I'll see her again today. Who? My wife left. She left me after my business failed. And now she says she wants me to come back. Is she mocking me? That's her fault for betraying me. At least, that's what I told myself. I couldn't face going back to an empty home. Oh, and even then, I could hear her crying. And I knew it was me who was being selfish. And it's my fault she's not with me. I can't ask her to start over with me. How pathetic. You're not pathetic. Alright. Uh, I think that's everybody, right? Should be. I saw that sheep who was selling stuff fall into the darkness. Fuck! Seriously? I think all his money was too heavy for him. He was surrounded by a cloud of coins as he fell, shining brilliantly in the light. He looked like a shooting star. My Kaioken is gone! This is some bullshit! Did I save my game yet? I should do that. <laughs> I should do that. I've been paranoid lately. Very paranoid. Come on, video game. Okay, there we go. Into the confessional we go. Oh, Hello. It seems you've survived, just as I predicted. But this level won't be overcome just through experience. You'll need luck as well. I see something special in you. Like the man who climbed this entire tower long ago. So somebody got out of here before. I'm gonna do even better than he did. There's more than one person depending on me now. This is the thirteenth question. If you were to be reincarnated, would you want to be a human? <laughs> See, now, I've always liked to joke around and say if I was reincarnated, I would like to be a dog. But then when you think about it, it's like, man, I ain't got no opposable thumbs. Yeah, I'd rather be human. your choice all right let's get going you've come more than halfway up this level after two more trials it will end you will then be at the cathedral it doesn't matter where i am anymore i'm gonna keep climbing until i've reached the goal i'm gonna take care of everything tomorrow after that I'll finally be able to tell her how i feel i'm gonna finish climbing this thing tomorrow and move on with my life All right, I better see a hundred fucking percent answer. Hundred percent. Everybody want to be human. Cause if you're not human, then you can't play video games. And I love my video games. All right, y'all some lying motherfuckers. So close, yet so far away. Ah, I hit the microphone. Shit. 
Oops, my bad. The final challenge, a 10-story wall. Use your mind to create a path to the entrance for the next area. Oh, it's this one. Oh no, this one's like really short. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus! Oh. Fuck! That is some grade A bullshit. You've made it this far. I think I've misjudged you. Oh, none of the other sheepies are here. Just you and me. How dare she go to some young bastard? Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Are you the only one here? Where are the others? They're not all dead, are they? Shut up. Don't talk to me. Sorry. Everyone, I hope you're all right. Hope you're all right, everybody. Hope you're all not dead dead wake up the next morning it's like this just in news report all these motherfuckers died because of this motherfucker right here and it's just a picture of vincent on the screen and he's like oh god oh, damn it is that exhaustion i sense sit down and rest oh, man. welcome little lamb i see you've survived Oh, you're doing amazingly. The next trial will be the last one on this floor. There's so much shit already. Nothing is going to scare me off now. This is the 14th question. If you were suddenly naked in public, where would you hide? Let it breeze. What? I have nothing to hide. <laughs> Anywhere I can. Which one? Uh, well, yeah. My body is a beauty that only certain eyes can can view upon. You're almost there. I'll say goodbye to you here. Only a very small number of sheep have ever reached the cathedral. In this century, you're the first. Ugh. I hear there are more holy stairs with red carpet at the top of the cathedral. Get there, but don't let go of what's important to you. If you can, then you'll be free. It's important to me. I don't know. But I'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. In any case, I'm getting the hell out of here. Now hurry up and take me up there. Well, I'll lead you to the next trial. Wait for me, Catherine. Alright, let's see. The answers of the peoples. What have they answered? Will they hide their shame? Or... Or show their glory. Mm hmm. Y'all yeah, some lying motherfucks. I got nothing to hide. You know, you got everything to hide. <sighs> the final boss. Well, not final boss, but the boss for the night. Suck in anything placed on top of them. Avoid stepping on them. Once you pass this area, you'll reach your final destination, the cathedral. 
<laughs> this is gonna be some bullshit. Who's there? All right, I remember not liking this boss. Oh uh, fuck. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck was that about? Thank the Lord! <laughs> Fuck! I was stuck on that ice bullshit. I hate ice blocks. You are. I, I don't want to die. Where? Where's Catherine? Catherine? Wait a second. Voice. You're. You're Steve, aren't you? Huh? How do you know my name? Oh, uh, well. I'm Steve Doe Home. I'm a dentist. I see. That voice. You're Vincent, aren't you? What a twist of fate. It looks like I'm cursed. You figured something out? I've been cursed by Catherine. How do you get a curse from that? Don't you get it? You're cursed too. It's revenge for betrayal. Revenge? And the Catherine you're talking about is. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> he said, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh no. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> I'm gonna have fun editing this bullshit. You have completed the spiral core. Fuck your bronze trophy. I don't care anymore. Path to the altar. Path to bullshit. 